Welcome back guys. In today's video I want to make a little update on my 36 gallon tank and like you see my plants are doing very good and they keep growing very fast and uh, actually I got rid of my 10 gallon tank which was downstairs today and I put my uh, six um, panda tetras I put them uh, in my crayfish tank, in my 20 gallon tank and uh, my three loaches uh, went here with my beta, with my female beta which is right over here she really enjoys this new home because especially betas uh, they love uh, planted tanks and she's doing very good actually she's been here around a day already and she's uh, swimming around observing everything and yeah, she seems very happy. But like I said, uh, the reason I took that 10 gallon tank is uh, because I want to make room for some uh, other tank in the future. I didn't decide what I want yet, but definitely it will be probably something 20, 29 gallon. And I was uh, thinking of maybe even creating a little bit bigger tank and uh, making it only puffer tank, puffer fish tank. Especially I wanted uh, to buy a green spotter puffer fish, but uh, this is something new for me that I need to research and learn before I do that. So, but it's just uh, more convenient for me to focus on uh, my bigger tanks than having to focus on my smaller tank as well. And also you see I lost actually two fry already for some reason I don't know what happened but I guess that's what happens in the wild as well the strongest uh, always survives I feed them actually in the morning and in at night and uh, the I have seven left but these seven look very strong and looks like I'm hoping that at least five of them will make it because I'm just it will be very interesting for me to see my fry um, uh, like this and yeah it's pretty cool I also added these uh, a few moss balls from my 10 gallon tank as you see here they're still floating it'll take a few a few more hours until they will uh, sink also I used to have uh, my 20 gallon uh, sponge filter over here but instead I just put this uh, I put this uh, air stone because uh, this tank, uh, like I said before, it it has a pretty strong hang on the back hang on the back filter. It's an AQN50, and it's actually very good for this size of the tank. And also over here, I'll show you. I have uh, my 55 gallon sponge filter. Well, this sponge filter is rated for 55 gallons. But uh, like I said, I put it on this side so it will create some water movement at the surface on this side. And the uh, filter is doing water movement on the surface and on the other side. Yeah, and for some reason also I lost my blue, actually, yeah, dwarf uh, uh, gurami. Uh, he was powder blue color and uh, I, I enjoyed that fish a lot. I don't know, he was doing so good. And all of a sudden I just found him over here under under the rocks. I don't know what happened to him at all. Good thing I found him uh, very fast because uh, I didn't want my water uh, parameters to change. So unfortunately he died for some unknown reason. And also another update which I wanted to make is that uh, my rainbow, my albino rainbow shark is now in my 55 gallon and I will show you him uh, in my next video and I took my uh, clown placo it was very hard to catch him but I had to take all of this uh, wood and the uh, rocks and actually and even my ship which is right behind the plants to actually catch him and the reason I took him out of here because he was here by himself and now he has a few a few bodies uh, in his 55 gallon new home and I have three placos in there right now and maybe I'll add one more, maybe, I'm not too sure actually. And uh, my rainbow shark enjoys that new home, I will show you in my next video. He's, uh, he's very happy there. 
he actually claimed already his new territory spot and it's funny how he is trying to chase my silver dollars around sometimes but he cannot do much there because all of the fish are similar size now he was the boss of this tank but not the one in the bottom well, but I guess maybe he will, we'll see in the future yeah guys so that was just uh, an update on my 36 gallon and uh, I will be like I said uh, in my last video I'll be making uh, more videos and I'm actually working on them already on more uh, how to care of different uh, fish species so thank you very much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already thank you very much and have a nice day bye